expansion. When a plus bx times root 1 plus 4x is expanded, coefficients of x and x squared are. So we need to find the coefficient of x and x squared and equate them to 3 and minus 6. So first of all, we don't use this formula in the MF19 because this is for pure 1, paper 1. The n we are dealing with is a fraction, not an integer. So the first step is to use um, to the power of 1 half for the square root here. And then since we have 1 plus something, we can just use the formula directly. So it's got to be 1 plus something like in the formula. So the x in the formula is plus 4x and the n in the formula is 1 half. So just follow the formula. We have the first term 1 and then n x. So this is n, this is x, and this is n, n minus 1, and this is x squared. We stop right here because we only need the x and the x squared term. So um, use a calculator, simplify, this is 2x. And if you just use your calculator here, remember the 4 is squared here. So you use your calculator, you will get a minus 2. And when we expand 8 times 1 and so on, so notice that we don't really need the constant term. So that's why we ignore 8 times 1. We don't need to write it down. But we do need 8 times 2x. So that's 2ax. And we also need 8 times minus 2x squared. So minus 2ax squared, we need bx times 1, and we need bx times 2x, so that's 2bx squared, but we don't need the x cubed term, so we ignore this term also. So now we collect the like terms, so the ones with x, we have 2a plus b, and for the one with x squared, we have minus 2a plus 2b. So the x coefficient is 3, 2a plus b equals 3, and the x squared coefficient is minus 6, so we have the other equation. In two variables, we can eliminate or substitute. Here we can just add both, add both equations here, so that we cancel out 2a plus negative 2a, they cancel out b plus 2b is 3b, we add, we get minus 3, divide both sides by 3, we get b, and to find the a, we can just plug into one of the equations, here we are using the blue equation, replace this b with minus 1, and we add 1 to both sides, divide both sides by 2, we get the a. Alright, that's it, I'll see you again next time.